Hello everybody, this is Maximus with A1WebsitePro.com and today's tutorial is going to be a PHP tutorial on optimizing images with PHP. So let me tell you what I got going on here. See I have this uploads folder on A1WebsitePro.com, okay, my A1 app folder, okay. And if I go to this uploads folder, you'll see I have tons of images, okay. And this just continues to grow. Well, I don't want to occupy all that any more CPU than what I need to be optimizing. So I'm going to share with you a script. Now, let me show you what this particular um, script is going to do here. Get this in the window so you can see what's going on. You notice I'm putting an a1websitepro.com, then my folder a1 app, and I have this script called optimize.php. When I hit enter, you'll see that it takes all these images that are in that folder and optimizes them, okay? It reduces the size, it makes them 500 by 500 pixels. There were several images in there that were 5,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels and just tons of megabytes of space that I was just taking up that I just didn't really need. And uh, it uh, really bogs down a server and when you're displaying those those pictures and websites and web pages it really slows down your website so that's why there's such a need to optimize your photos in your f folder so in this particular script called optimize.php I'm going to give to you for free so let me describe to you what it does first of all we set the max ex execution time as zero the default is 30 but this is uh, this is a script uh, it um, maximizes the time in seconds before it's terminated by the parser this will help prevent poorly written scripts from tying up the server so you don't want to tie up the server so you want to have this particular uh, code in there in PHP to start off so what we're going to do first of all we're going to set the path for uh, your uploads folder and you see here I have it in uploads so there's my uh, uploads folder right here okay and if you scroll down you'll see or if you scroll up you'll see I'm in my a1 app folder and in my a1 app folder I have all these files and I also have the optimize.php file and that's the file that we're working on here okay so and I'm moving the images to the exact same folder now if I wanted to create another folder, let's say I wanted to create uploads too. So let's go to A1 app, I'm going to create a new directory, I'm going to say uploads2, okay? Now I'm just creating this directory here right now, so you know that's what I'm doing. And if I scroll down here, you'll see I have uploads2, I open it, there's nothing in there, okay? So let's go and we'll move the images to uploads2, just like that, we'll update the script, okay? And uh, maybe instead of having the picture, this is where we set the, the width and the height of the picture and the image quality. Okay, now maybe I want a bunch of thumbnails. Maybe I want them 100 pixels by 100 pixels. Okay, and I want to make a bunch of thumbnails. Well, I'll save that. So my uploads to folder, that's what will happen. Now I'll bring my script back over here and I'll run this script again. And so it optimizes all those images and puts them in my other folder. Okay, let me refresh this, make sure that it ran good. Now, if I open up my uploads to folder here, let me refresh the server. And if I upload that, you see now I have all those pictures that are 10 pixels by 10 pixels or 100 pixels by 100 pixels in my uploads to folder. Okay, so that's how this script works. So once again, let me undo the changes if you put them in the same folder, if your source folder is uploads and your destination is uploaded, then it's just going to replace those images that are in that folder, okay, and optimize them accordingly. So you set your picture width 500 pixels, picture height to 500 pixels, image quality to 80. That's a pretty good image quality, so you're taking it from 100 to 80. The next thing that we we're going to do is we're going to uh, open the directory of the image folder, okay? And while the file is reading the directory, if it's not false, then it's going to do these commands here. It's going to take the uh, image folder plus the file name of each one. See this little while loop? We're going to do one image at a time, and we're going to move it to the destination path 
we're going to check, make sure it's a valid image, and get the image size, okay, for the image path. And if the file exists and it checks the valid image, which is get image size, because if somebody uploaded, let's say they uploaded an MP3 file or they uploaded a movie file, this get image size will let the script know that it's not an image, okay, because there's no size associated with it. Okay, so if file exists and check the valid image, it is okay, then we're going to move on, we're going to come down here and we're going to resize the image. We're going to grab the image path, the destination path, the picture width, the picture height, and the image quality, and then we're going to apply all those, the, re, the resize function to it. And we're going to echo out resize success, just like we did right here, resize success. Okay, and then it's going to echo the, the image file for you and let you know what's going on. Okay, else if it fails, it's going to say resize failed. Okay. But if you're doing everything correctly, you shouldn't have it here. The only time that you might have a problem is if you don't have enough uh, memory or um, in your PHP.ini file, uh, you might have to adjust it to increase your memory if, it's, if you have a lot of pictures. If you have a lot of pictures, you want to give it a lot of memory to be able to perform this process. But then we close the directory and then uh, Here's a function that resizes the image, okay? We're going to go in here, we're going to resize it, get the image source, destination, max width, max height, image, and the image quality. And we're going to make a list and everything that we want to do with this image, okay? Now image create true color uh, so that we retain the colors. And we're going to switch all the uh, file extensions to lowercase. And here we're going to grab anything that's JPEG or capital JPEG, lowercase and uppercase PNG, GIF, because this sometimes just does not do the trick. Okay, and then GIF, and then uh, let me see, let me uh, make sure I get capital GIF in there. All right, just in case they saved it that way. And you'll notice all these different image create from PNG, JPG. That's where all the real magic happens, okay? And then default return to false. So we're, first we're making sure that these are, these are images here, okay? And then after we uh, verify that they're images, we're going to go ahead and resize them, okay? And then we have image copy resample. This is where we echo out everything, uh, or this is this is after we create the resized image, we're gonna go ahead and destroy that image, the, uh, the original image, all within split seconds, and then we're gonna echo done at the end. So it, the script went through, it, it echoes out everything, and then at the bottom of the script, let me see if I can get this up here, you see, done, okay, and that's what we're doing right here, echoing done. All right, so this script is gonna be available at Able Website Pro, and it'll work on any Linux server with Apache running PHP 5.0 something. Okay. All right. This is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope this tutorial has helped somebody. Thanks. Bye.